hello guys welcome back to Revit 2016 video tutorials in this video tutorial we will go through the construction of columns uh, in our office building or whatever you call it mall shopping mall or office building or a building just simply a building but by the end of the project I will give this project a name never mind so this is this was our plan of the basement so now uh, let, let us see some uh, elevation in elevation view so here you go so these are the walls when you uh, when you go over it you can see that those are our walls basic wall so now uh, i need columns under the under my footing uh, I, I'm sorry I need columns above my footings so as I said we'll be having everything made up of concrete until third floor and the rest of it will be steel so first uh, I will need to have concrete columns in the basement level so let us go to basement level uh, as you see once you come here these are the foundations and these are rectangular and pile foundations but coming to columns let's go to structure select column mm. select column and over that select concrete rectangular column So let us select this and we don't know what these dimensions mean so let us uh, go to edit type and see it means that is two feet okay so let us select okay and let us see I mean does it work or not Oh, uh, there you go. Now select escape. And let us see it in 3D view. How does it look? I'm not sure how does it look. Uh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, there you go but there's some kind of problem with that I don't know what is that so the base level is from basement to basement but I need to parking select apply and select this one select basement to parking select apply so now if you see you can uh, see that there are columns up to parking level okay but let's check this out in wireframe mode but if you see the foundation is really big so that I mean we can increase a little bit from two feet to let's say um, four feet and over here five feet so what I'll just do is I'll just delete this and I'll delete this now I don't have any since I don't have any uh, columns I'll go to my basement level hmm. what happened to our foundations oh, we can see it you can see over here uh, because of the columns they got moved now they should be okay let us go to basement level so as you see there are um, um, 
there are rectangular foundations square foundations and piles so I'll go to column I'll select edit and I will select duplicate and I will give as uh, concrete column I'll select ok and now I'll select let's say width as 4 feet and the other dimension as 5 feet so here is the code never mind about that select ok now coming over here So let's say height and over here till parking from basement to parking and select the point. Now if you view it in 3D, let us see, I mean if we can see our, oh there it is, it looks good, right, absolutely good, let us go to basement. Now, I will just uh, let's select that and I'll just from I have it over here from base level basement to the parking. That's good. Now, Now I will select uh, wherever I need my columns. So I have I am selecting the points, and as you see, the walls automatically they kind of automatically uh, are moved back and are are merged into the column. Revit has this one advantage so you don't need to uh, delete the intersection items like wall it intersecting with a column okay let me this complete over here then what I can do is I can just uh, copy the entire I can copy all the columns okay let me uh, select one more over here so that sounds good select escape now select our columns just the columns oh shit we missed column over here never mind now that uh, we have selected all the columns we can just go over here and select copy and then you can select one point now you can move it you can just copy it to other point so this sounds cool right now once again select copy and move it to the other level or other whatever 
I mean, okay, let's uh, let's just let's just uh, stop at this at right now. I mean, because you can do that stuff. You can copy it, and you can you can even put columns over here. So it's just uh, you can just what you what you can do is once you're done with all the columns over here, you can just copy this to over here. That's it, simple. So in this way, uh, you can have columns, concrete columns. So and the size depends on our design. Uh, I mean, whatever the design we have done for our project. If you check it out in 3D, you can see the columns. You select top view. There you go. So in this way, uh, you can do the construction of concrete columns in Revit 2016. Thank you for watching the video.